Good morning, boys and girls. This is Miss Catherine from the Fredrickson Library. It may be afternoon or it may be evening when you're watching this video, but I'm glad to be here with you again. It's so fun. I love making crafts and I wish I could be in person with you, but hopefully one day I will when all this uh, social distancing is over. But in the meantime, we need to do what is right. So let's get started. Today, we are going to make a scarecrow, and I'll talk about that a little bit later and talk about fall. But first, I want to give you just some basic instructions about craft grab and go bags. So, craft grab and go bags are something that the Fredrickson Library Children's Department does, and we have a number of different kinds. But I am the one that is doing the craft grab and go bags. So we do a craft twice a month and um, I do it, I videotape it and then it's uploaded to YouTube um, and you can go to the Fredrickson web website and, uh, and get the video there and watch it at home or at your grandma's or your cousins or wherever. And, um, or if you just want to take the craft grab and bag grab and go bag home, you can also do it at home on your own. But I think it's kind of fun to do the video and kind of see step by step how to do it. So some of you, um, if you're watching this with a parent, uh, are used to registering for programs at the Fredrickson Library. Uh, this particular program, Craft Grab and Go Bags, are not necessary to register for. Now it's just the Craft Grab and Go Bags. You can come by the library whenever we're open in the daytime or the evening and pick up your craft grab and go bags. And they're usually ready uh, the Saturday before the Monday that um, we are doing the craft. Um, so uh, you can come by, pick up your bag and take it home. So just be, just know that it's not a registered program. And if you have any questions when you come to the library, one of us will help you get the right craft bag. Um, so uh, thank you for joining us. And with each video, I'll tell you the uh, upcoming craft that's gonna come for the next one. And you can kind of know, you know, what we're making. But today we're going to do uh, a scarecrow. So first of all, uh, I want to also say that craft grab and go bags are for children of all different ages, especially siblings. It's fun to work on them. You can do them at home. You can do them, you know, wherever, like I said, at your grandma's or cousins or an aunt and uncle. Um, and I would just caution you to please, um, if you're a younger child, to please do it with an adult and the adult can help you give you extra instructions or give you advice. Um, for some of the crafts, some crafts are a little bit easier than others. Some crafts may have smaller parts. So if you're a really young child, uh, just please, parent or adult, uh, please be careful. Um, but again, I, I don't think there are going to be any problems. I don't anticipate any problems. Uh, the craft grab and go bags are available. Uh, I make a bunch of them, but once they're gone, they're gone. So it's a good idea to pick them up at the library when you know uh, that as soon as you know that you're going to be able to do them uh, because uh, there there's a limited number. So uh, now with each craft grab and go, go, go bag, I mentioned there's a accompanying video and you can either watch it or not watch it. Um, the video is uploaded to the Fredrickson website and so you can um, click on the link there. You go to Fredrickson website, you go to children's and then there's fun at home and you'll see the video there. Uh, so if you have any questions, you can call the library, but um, I'll look forward to, to working with you via social media. Um, so anyways, the, there'll be also, there'll be six craft grab and go bags this fall. So the dates are posted or are listed in the patron, the newsletter of the library. So you can check the patron, it's either online or you can come into the children's department and get one, or even upstairs they have them. So uh, let's get started. So thank you for joining me. Now, I want to start by asking you, do you like this season? This is called fall or autumn, and this is one of my favorite seasons. It always has been uh, because the leaves change color, and I love it when the leaves turn orange and red, and uh, the, that red is so brilliant and nice and yellow. Uh, I usually go on walks with my dog, and I often pick up leaves, 
and I might press them in a book and save them for later, but I really, really like leaves. And leaves are so cool because they come in all different shapes. But also, if you live out in the country, you may have seen uh, apple trees. So apple trees are very popular uh, or come into popularity at this time because people love apples, make applesauce, apple pie, those kinds of things. It also gets windy. Uh, here in the fall. So I, I like it when there's a little breeze, just not too much, but I like it when it's breezy. It feels good to get out and walk. Um, fall is also the time when farmers are really, really busy because they've planted their seeds and now the seeds are beginning to harvest. Either they've planted them earlier in earlier than fall or they're planting them now. Now, uh, what has to happen is the seeds need to stay safe in the ground. And you know who likes seeds? Are birds. Birds love seeds. And so they'll come and they'll pick the seeds out of the ground um, and they'll take them away. And then the farmer won't have any crops. Or maybe a crop is growing just a little bit. And the bird comes by and goes, hmm, that looks yummy. So he'll take it and eat it. So what can a farmer do to prevent that? Well, uh, over the years, farmers have put scarecrows in their uh, fields. And all a scarecrow is, is um, a stuffed man, a stuffed, well, actually, it's not a man and not a real man, but to make a scarecrow, you take like an old pair of jeans, an old like flannel shirt, men's flannel shirt, and lots of straw or hay, and you stuff the shirt, and you stuff the pants, and then you make a head, and you stuff that, and you put eyes and a nose and all that, and so it looks like a real human being, but it's not. It's just stuffed with hay. But the birds are fooled. They're tricked. So then you take that stuffed scarecrow and you put it on a pole and you stick it out in your field. And you can ask an adult. Maybe they can show you pictures of it. And then the birds come to the field and they're so happy. They think, oh boy, we're going to come for food. And guess what? They see that scarecrow and they are scared away. So they think it's a real person. And so you kind of fake them out. All right, so um, that's what a scarecrow is. So I, I always like to start my programs with a scarecrow joke. So let's get started. What, why don't scarecrows eat a lot? Do you think you know it? Come up with a good guess. Because they're already stuffed. Oh, you know, you ever ate a big meal and you're stuffed and you can't even think about anything more? Well, scarecrows, they're stuffed with the straw. So they're nice and full. So anyways, just a little joke to get us started. So now I want to go over the craft. So I want to show you the parts that we have to make the craft or the items that we have. So this is, first of all, I want to show you uh, a completed one. So this is my completed one. So you can see he's a cute little, or it's a girl. Now you can make yours a girl or a boy, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I happen to make mine a girl because probably I'm a girl. Um, and anyways, here we go. So uh, so we, we're gonna need a hat, we're gonna need a, tr and these are shapes. And so if you're really young, you may be learning your shapes. Now if you're older, you know these shapes, but this is a triangle. Okay, that's the hat. The circle is the face. The rectangle is the square, and a rectangle is all sides are not equal. Once two sides are longer. The sides here, these sides are longer than these sides, okay? Then I'm going to need some clothespins for the legs and some clothespins for the arms. I'm gonna need some little googly eyes, okay, to make my face. I'm gonna need little cheeks, okay? So I have my little orange cheeks. I'm gonna need a nose, and this is hard to get up. A little, and again, what shape is this? It's a little mini triangle, all right? And I'm gonna need little pockets to put on my scarecrow so he can, I don't know, he can hold whatever he needs to in his pockets. And I'm gonna need some glue, which you have in a little container. I don't have it here at home, I use this, and a magic marker. So I think that's all, let's get started. And I tried to put this on a, a white thing to see because sometimes it's hard to see. So I am going to put this aside. Again, you can take a good look at it. All right, and I drew the little scarecrow uh, sort of squares, like tic-tac-toe squares on his head. 
and he has a little band on his hat on his uh hat and sometimes scarecrow cats are felt and they sort of flop over they're all different kinds of scarecrows so you can go on the internet and look at scarecrows and see what they look like so they're all different kinds and then i drew a mouth so can you see this okay all right anyways i'll hold it up it's hard to see me and this because the chair is just not low enough all right here we go so i'm going to start with my body Okay, I'm going to hold my body up, and I'm going to need to attach the head to the body. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue on the head, right here. Okay, let's put it on and attach it. And I'm going to do this on the table. And just put it right there in the middle. And again, you don't need a lot of glue because then it'll start to drip, but just enough to hold it together and kind of pat it down. All right, good. Now the next thing, let's see, what should I do? I think I'll put the eyes on. I'll make my face and then I'll add all the other things. So, all right, so I'm going to put my, um, well, actually, no, you know what? I'm going to put my hat on first. So I'm going to glue at the bottom of the hat. And I have little lines on my hat that I drew. You can draw those to color in or you can draw them later it doesn't really matter so i'm going to attach my hat okay i'm showing you the back but here's the front okay and you may need to glue it a little bit up here you have to use your brain to figure out where to put all the glue it's really easy you know Okay, and then now I think we're gonna add our eyes. So we're gonna take these little googly eyes. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue and put them right there on your scarecrow. And you can move them around to kind of center them. And you may need to sort of press on the hat to make it stay. You just kind of have to see. It may start curling a little bit. Okay, now I've got my eyes. And again, just let them sort of dry. Now I think I'll do my nose. Okay, so I get my little triangle. I put a little glue on it. Okay, here's my triangle, little glue. And again, I just kind of press lightly, put it down. All right, now why don't we go ahead and make the mouth? All right, so I'm sorry, I keep sliding up in my chair. All right, here's the mouth. And that's where you use your black crayon. I'm using a marker because I don't have a black crayon right now, but that's my mouth. And it's just a line with little cross hatches across it. You can just make a smile, whatever you want. You can make teeth, you can add, you know, lips, whatever you want. Okay, now I am going to put my little cheeks on. Okay, so I just put a little dot on the side, right on the side. Do you know where your cheeks are? Right here, cheeks, okay? A good scarecrow has to have nice, good, puffy cheeks. Okay, so he has a little puffy cheeks. All right, there we go. Now what I think I'll do is I'll color in, I just drew a line here and that's where, maybe you can see it, there you go. So I'm gonna color that in with, whoops, there goes my little ball. Okay, there we go, all right. I'm going to color that in right now. I'm going to use this paper so I don't get it on the table, and I'm just going to color it in. So I hope all of you are having a great fall. Okay. A lot of you may be going back to school in some way or another. Maybe you're at home doing homeschool. Maybe you're doing virtual school. Maybe you're doing going to a classroom and a building. There are lots of different ways that we can do school. And uh, the important thing is that we're learning. And you know what? We learn, just so you know, and you know this, you learn all the time, okay? You learn when you're just walking around your house, you're learning. 
when you're taking a walk, when you're in the car with your adults. So learning is a lifetime thing and it's always good to learn. You're learning a craft now. So you never ever stop learning. Even when you're really old, you still are learning. So now I have my uh, hat. Now I'm also gonna draw little hatch marks, they're called, on the hat. These are sort of just decoration, okay? And you can put them anywhere on the hat. I just put mine here. You sort of make it in the shape of a uh, tic-tac-toe. So may, some of you may play tic-tac-toe. That's like this. Okay, now let's see. I think I'll add, I'm going to put on my hands and my legs now to give me an idea of what this is going to look like. Okay. Here's my hands. Okay. And you can move them around. You can put them up high or put them down low. And the scarecrow's legs. Okay, here's the scarecrow's legs. So now we have our scarecrow. Now I'm gonna put his little pockets on. And again, you can put them one high, one low, together in the middle, however you wanna do it, okay? So I'm gonna take my little pockets. These are the little rectangles, or rectangles or squares, depends on how I cut them. And I'm gonna put them right here. And I like to put a lot of glue on these because they don't always stick so well. Okay, there we go. Now I have my little squares. He's got two little pockets. All right, now the last thing I'm gonna do is hair. All right, and since I'm making a girl, I'm gonna make her hair a little bit longer on the sides. Now I have short hair, so I don't have hair. I used to have really, really long hair. But um, you can either do it short short hair for a girl or a boy or long hair for a girl or boy however you want use your imagination i put a bunch of little strips of burlap that's burlap actually um that you have in your bag and you can use those i'm going to show you one way but feel free to use your amazing imagination and do it any way you want so i'm going to first put a glue glue blob on each side right up at the top and i'm going to right here right here okay and i'm gonna put one of my little uh strips down okay then i'm also going to take a strip i'm going to put some hair in the middle so here's the hair on the side okay now i'm going to put some hair in the middle Okay, then she has a little bit of hair in the middle. All right, and then what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put another bob of glue on either side, so give her a little more hair on the side there. And I just put the blob of glue right on top of the other one. And then I sort of move this in the shape that I want it. And again, you may need to move your arms a little bit so you can fit the glue on, however you wanna do it. And last but not least, I think I'm going to um, cut this one. I'm going to just get some scissors. So that might be a good thing to have, a pair of scissors. And cut this in half. And I'm going to make two little shorter ones right here. Right on the end. And... This sometimes takes a little while to dry, so just be patient. Can you see? There we go. Now my little hair. Okay, and again, now her legs are starting to go bowed. All right, so this is my scarecrow. Um, and you can name it, and you can hang it somewhere. You can put a little punch, a little hole in if you have a hole puncher and hang it somewhere. You can put it in a window. You can give it to your grandma or grandpa. You can do whatever. But it's just a fun reminder that fall is 
a time of really new beginnings because seeds are growing and eventually they're going to grow into crops and that you and I eat. So um, thank you boys for joining me, boys and girls. Uh, it's been a pleasure to do this. I look forward to the next one. Now the next one will be in September as well um, and we'll be doing a wind sock. So please check the schedule and I'd love to join you virtually and we'll do it together. So I want to end it as I always do with a joke. I like to begin with a joke and I like to end with a joke. What is a scarecrow's favorite food? Hmm, can you think? Strawberries. Okay, now we know strawberries grow on the ground and some of you may have picked strawberries this summer. There are places around here where you can pick strawberries. I usually go and pick some. I love strawberries. But it takes a while for strawberries to grow and they grow in the summer. But straw, think, remember, the scarecrow is filled with straw. So anyways, his favorite food is strawberries. Boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me. I can't wait for the next one. And please join us to make a windsock. And you know it gets windy in fall, so you can hang your windsock. It won't make noise, but it'll blow beautifully and it'll look gorgeous. All right. Thank you so much. Have a great day. See you later.